Afternoon, friends. How's everybody? Hey, Rich Ray, congratulations, partner. Hey, well done. That's crazy. I, I was quite surprised it took so long. I, I, I was, I, I, but again, that's usually how it goes, right? Murphy's Law. So I got to share something with you folks. Today, we, uh, we had a couple things to do. Um, business stuff and stuff, just stuff, administrative things. Um, and what that means for me is pick up some power saw chain, pick up my boots at the leather guy, you know, this and that, these types of things. Uh, I'm down at Ajax and, and it's cold out, right, friends? So, so, you know, I'm not quite ready to not, you know, wear long sleeves yet. I'm, I'm in and out of the long sleeve, short sleeve things. Yet. That's just how it is. <laughs> so anyways, I, I, I throw on my vest, hey, eh? because it's a little chillier. So I got my, my, my home light vest on and I'm down at Ajax. We're, we did a trip out walkers a couple days ago. Actually, I got to get back out to walkers. Um, anyway, I'm going go Ajax. Bango. I see this thing on the floor and I'm like, what's happening with this? He goes, oh, it runs. He says, the guy tra traded it in for something new. It's for sale. You know, 50 bucks. And I said, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you $50 for that. Check it out. Not only is it, you know, like the XL76, my little rip snorter, okay, 50cc saw. I think, or 58, I think this is a 58cc saw. I believe it is. Wrap around bar, friends. You know what I mean? You can't buy a 100cc Husky with a wrap around bar in this town anymore, brand new. You can't. Look at this. Buy old power saws. The new ones are junk. Look at this thing. So there's some issues, okay? I'm gonna put you guys down here a minute, hang on. Let's do this. Let's just do this here. Okay, so we got, we got a few problems, all right? And one being is that this here, okay? And I know I can see inside there, these are beautiful saws. This is like steel, like it, it you know what I mean, friends? So I'll grab my handy dandy bar wrench, is always within reach. Oh, I treated myself. Apparently they're talking about not making these anymore. I don't know why, but I wasn't about to let that one go. It's another uh, it's 63 gauge. But uh, anyway, I grabbed her. So now I just want to pop into this. Oh yeah, see, he's he's got it. He's been, Somebody's been into this. Yeah, it's loose. Okay. So the dogs are broken. I can see it. The, uh, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've actually got some parts for this thing. I might even have a set of dogs for it. The starter dogs. Inside, friends, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so let's take a look at this thing and ha let's have a little peeksy poo. Did you see that Jeremy Bells 125 crack a little long? Oh, Jeremy, I'm proud of you, buddy. Nice job and happy for you. Damn, I'm happy for you. Okay, let's look at this thing here now. Let's take, okay, there we, oh, whoa. The coil's been smacked up. Oh yeah, something broke off. Oh yeah, right there. That's what happened. It broke off and smashed the coil up too. Oh, damn it. I wonder if that's still gonna work. Uh-oh. That's not good. Son of a gun. I hope we... I hope that's not broke. Oh, I think it might be. I think the coil's broken. Ah, oh, there's a screw stuck to it. Okay, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Damn. Uh, well, there's... Looks like... Huh. Yeah, we, we got some issues. Busted up coil. Uh, whether it still works or not, I'm gonna have to find out. Oh, the flywheel's busted, completely busted. Oh, it's, it's busted right to pieces, actually. <laughs> Look at it. It's completely busted right off. The whole flywheel's smashed. Look at it. <laughs> it's busted to pieces. Damn it, that's a shame. I'll see if I got part saw. Oh, I know I got part saw. I got, I got 
got this one here, friends. And uh, it'll have, yeah, yeah, I can see it, it's the same. But, but I think this saw runs. But the flywheel smashed to pieces. You see? Yeah. These are virtually the same saw, actually. But, uh, oh, that's a real shame, that. That's a shame. It's, it's, it's thrashed. I'm wondering if, look at it. There's no, there's no fins left on it. Gone. I'll see what I got. I'll talk to you in a bit. So under further inspection, I, uh, I remember having an extra one of these, which is basically the same as the one I just bought today. Here's another one, but I believe this saw runs actually. So I'm just gonna check some stuff. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to tear that one down. That that one. That one runs. But this one definitely does not. It's got no coil. It's got no nothing. It does have a motor. And I'll bet you the motor is actually fine. I, I, I honestly, I, I truly believe it's fine. It's got some parts. So, friends, don't throw anything. Oh, it's got an oiler. And it's spewing oil. I can hear it coming out of there. It's got the side plates. It's got like, like, even like stuff, friends. So I'm going to, I'm going to swap the flywheel somehow. The dogs, it's got the whole assembly right there. Bango. Look at it. Look at it, friends. I'm going to get to work. Well, as you can see, my dear friends, um, the flywheels are the same. It's the same part. With the, I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> it's sheared right off. Every single one of them. Every single freaking one of them. Look at that. It's supposed to look like that. Not like that. Isn't that amazing? But look at it. I mean, no, no wonder. And this is loose. Like, I don't know if it's the same coil as this other power saw I got. You know, these ones here. Um, where is it? These ones. It, it, it almost looks like the same coil, but it's not the same mounting program. I can tell you that honestly. That I do know. But uh, I may have a look and see. I, I'm going to try it without it and see how we do. So I'll, I'll put the flywheel back on it now. Did this one come off good? There might even be a motor here. But I know that the mounting system's different. So um, it's hard to say if I can use that coil or not if I need Back in a flash. Now, y'all is gonna tell me something here. Do you all talk in different languages sometimes when you're working by yourself? You see, I was just talking to a guy named uh, Jeremy Bell and whatever he's doing, <laughs> you see what I mean? It's just, you know, and guys like, uh, it's just that, that Southern uh, draw you guys got down there. It was one of my, my chosen uh, uh, impressions if you will uh, that i would do when i'd be working by myself another one we all know that's where that comes from and then of course uh you see sven he shows up when i'm doing these things <laughs> see does anybody else do that come on tell me the straight up truth i've always done it since i've been a little kid but especially when i get working and doing stuff like this I, I, I don't know what it, I, I know it's because I was talking to my American friends, like Jeremy Bell's freaking accent. Well, this, you know, a 125, I get, <laughs> I just, I love it. I love the accent. I always have. Anyway, friends, we're, uh, we're close here. I've got a little bit of a saggy cord, but it's, it's okay. I was watching my buddy there, uh, um, Bayou Country, Bayou Country Power Sauce, where he pulls the cord and he wraps around to tighten up the cord. Well, I did that and it actually works. Uh, I probably could have run around twice, but I got one turn out of it and it's not.
not hanging out the side of the machine no more, as you can see. It's touch loose. I'll fix it up after. What I might do, it's a short cord, but I might just pull out a little bit and, uh, and snip a couple inches off it. Maybe, but I think I'll go back to doing it the old school way, like uh, Bayou Country Power Saw showed me. Friends, we're in the moment of, 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 of truth here. The coil's like snotted right out. You saw the coil. It's been beat to rat you know what. Uh, but I got the flywheel on. Thank goodness I kept that old carcass or I wouldn't have had this saw running. Without a doubt, I'd have been, I'd have been screwed. Just say it, I'd have been screwed. So now we're not. Uh, and I'll tell you something, what's crazy, this is, friends, this is crazy. The home light vest, okay? It's cold. I throw it on. Well, I already told you this story in the last one of the last earlier segments in this video. The 130. Yeah, it's the same as the, yeah, XL76. So anyways, I got my home light and Ben, my good buddy, Ben, Ben, you got to come to Indiana this, oh, as a matter of fact and freaking freaking fact, almost sounded like a swear word there, didn't it? But it sure the hell wasn't. Um, Buck and Stock. We've landed a home for Buck and Stock. And in saying this, I want to thank everyone. Tom Lely, um, Iron Horse, Patrick. Uh, folks that offered up pieces of property. Adam Winshittle. Uh, Adam's a great guy. He offered up his property, his farm, for us to have buck and stock at, friends. But I'm happy to say, uh, but I mean, it's going to be number three, right? So I'd like to give uh, Iron, Iron Horse, I'd like to go up and see him just because of where he's at. And there was some beautiful pieces of property that people offered up. There was a few. And if you had done that, thank you all so much. Um, crazy decal once again comes through for the channel in the community. He's going to have it at his place again, friends. <laughs> he, he says, Bucking, I haven't taken a landfill rat down from the tree. Do you guys remember from the first? <laughs> From the first bucket stock, landfill rat was in the tree. Big cardboard cut out of landfill rat from this tree right in my backyard when they came and built the bunker. So he has not removed it from the tree. He says, I may as well not. We'll just carry on and go. Decal's got a busy life right now. He's in the, he's in the, um, in the process of, of they're building their new home, their new family home on the property that Buck and Stock was taken care of uh, the first time. It was just a barn, remember? The barn and, and no homes. But he's building his home now. So he's hoping to have his home done and out of the way by the time Buck and Stock comes. So, friends, we need to do something. Okay? And I think we need to do it in the comment section of this YouTube channel. And I'll put something in the community section too. By the way, welcome to the new subscribers. I see you coming in. I see us. I see us all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So, can we thank Decal friends and and his family for for putting Buck and Stock? It's it's a massive undertaking, friends. It is. It's a massive undertaking. So let's thank Decal and his family, J Poo, and uh, Chuckles and Adam. We like to call him Patch. Stickers and Patch. Decal, Stickers, Patch, and j -Poo. That's the family. It's Buckin's names for them, you see? Everybody's got to have a nickname. Now, friends, we are literally... I didn't bother pulling the plug because I don't have all... What the hell is that? Oh, Bramble. Uh, I don't have all my tools out here. My tools, you, you would you would think I'm... Well, you've seen my shelf, my, my tools. It's, it's bad. It's not good. I'm just going to squirt some fuel down the freaking thing. And I'm going to see if it runs. Because it, if it runs, it's going to pop right away instantly when you put gas in there. That's what happens. Or you pull the plug and you pull on it and see if it's got spark. I could do that. It's easier for me to just grab some fuel, lean the carburetor up, which is a Tilson, give her a squirt, put on, make sure the choke's not on, and give it a pull on the old ripcord. It's turned on. Who knows? If that coil works, uh, 
I, I'll be surprised, but... So here's the uh, here's the deal, friends. Okay, excuse me. So I picked up some seventy six XL seventy sixes quite a while ago. Okay, quite a while ago, and uh, I love them. But but I you know I'm usually they're smaller saws, friends. I, I don't run smaller saws that often. They are lovely. Like the, even my my Pro Mac ten tens, friends. You know I got a lot of them. I should almost probably start thinking about maybe doing something with those. I mean, I'm a collector, but I, I do have a lot of them. I mean, a lot of these are, are 10 tens, right? Like the automatics and then there's the Pro Max. I've got Pro Mac 10 tens, but uh, I've also got the automatic 10 tens, you know, just the automatics, simple ones and some S's. But um, how many do you need? You know, I, I don't really, I mean, a collector's a collector, but I mean, sooner or later, you know, uh, yeah, you probably have to narrow down the fleet is what I'm saying at some point. I've got some saws that I have not even been into and I don't run because I ran them and they were kind of not, they just didn't have it. They didn't have the snot. I, 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 I've been kind of murdered because I use ported saws, you see? So there's a, there's a Super Pro 70 right there. Beautiful power saw. Super Pro 70. So, the race to build a 50 or 60 cc saw, a good one in the 70s. McCulloch, home light, pooling. Pioneer. The 130. We're going to see right now what it cuts like. 
Every piece of wood I cut out here is going to be cut to a piece of firewood, not not a not a, a disc. You know what I mean? Because we got firewood here. So 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 there it is. There she there she sits. It's it's. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I go get the five eighths wrench back in a flash. Pretty good.